when you come to the food bank at Swan Bank, you'll be greeted with a smile and a welcome and the offer of a cup of tea from maybe Lloyd. And while you're waiting, there's the offer of help, maybe to do with money or to do with housing or anything else that you might need some help with. You see, coming to the food bank is not just about food. It reminds me of a story from the Bible. Jesus said, what is God's kingdom like? What story can I use to explain it? It is like what happens when a mustard seed is planted in the ground. It is the smallest seed in all the world. But once it is planted, it grows larger than any garden plant. It even puts out branches that are big enough for birds to nest in its shade. This story reminds me that whilst our one tin of beans that we might give to the food bank might seem very small, it reminds me that while just sharing a smile as we walk past somebody may seem very small, maybe even offering a cup of tea or a little bit of help here, there and around may seem very small. Actually, what happens when it is planted in God is amazing. You see, that mustard seed is tiny, but yet it grows into the most amazing and wonderful and big tree because it is planted in God's earth. That tiny seed has a big impact and not just because it creates more mustard seeds, but because it becomes a home for birds. They shelter in under its branches. They make it their home in its leaves. Each one of us can do our tiny little part. You see, our food bank here is not just about the food that we offer, the food that we are able to share. I remember hearing this quote a long time ago, and it's always stuck with me. Have you ever thought that you are too small to make a difference? Well, then you've clearly never spent a night in a room with a mosquito. You see, a mosquito is a very tiny insect, but it can have a really big impact and not always a particularly nice one. You see, small things can make a difference and not just to us, but to all those around us. The birds that nestle in the branches of the mustard tree, I am sure, are very grateful for the one who planted the seed in the first place. So maybe today, tomorrow, in the days to come, you will do your tiny little thing and see what God can do with it.